What's up, you guys? It's Exploring with India. Today, you guys, we're going to explore some movies. Okay, you guys, so we got Star Trek. Now, I know I've been, um, no, I know I started at Star Trek, um, Lower Decks, which was a cartoon. And if you guys want me to keep doing that, I definitely will. But let me know down in the comments. I think I did to um, episode three on that one. It's two hours long. Let's get straight to you guys. Of course, you're going to have to chop it up, but you're going to get my full reaction, my full opinion, and my full insight. USS Kelvin, go for Starfleet Base. Starfleet Base, we sent you a train. Look at that. Kelvin, can you double check those receipts? Polarize the view screen. Whatever this is, everything on origin. Captain, we have visual. Um, look at their ship compared to <laughs> this big one. Oh, it's about to swallow them. <laughs> Crazy. Hello. My commander requests the presence of your captain in order to negotiate a ceasefire. You will come aboard our ship. Your refusal would be unwise. Ugh. The captain must go. The captain. That's harsh, baby. So willing to negotiate, but you gotta come over here. If I don't report in 15 minutes, evacuate the crew and get off this ship. Hi, Captain. You're Captain now, Mr. Kirk. Ah. Mr. Kirk is Captain now. This heart rate's elevated. Heart is pumping. Shit, I'll be star too. Hold up, what you Look at this ship. Are you familiar with this craft? I will speak. With his ears. Do you know the location of Ambassador Spock? I'm unfamiliar with Ambassador Spock. What is the current star date? Star date 223304. <laughs> Why? Why are you kidding? <laughs> hey, that escalated quickly. That escalated quickly. We supposed to negotiate and he's like, he tell them the year, I guess that they're in. So they're from, from the future or would it be the past? No, oh, Jesus. But he killed him for no re, I mean, I guess he has a reason, but ah, that escalated. That escalated. Terminated. What is his voice? What's happening? He's delivering the stuff. Uh, no. she pregnant on there? It's coming. Oh, baby. It's coming now. I'm on my way. It's in order. Yes, sir. George, the shuttle's leaving. Where are you? Sweetheart, listen to me. I'm not going to be there. The feelings that she is going through right now, the feelings, the emotions. I'm about to have a baby. Not only that, but my man is staying behind in a, sh in a spaceship. Isn't it called spaceship? Now correct your girl down in the comments. Correct me, correct me. So I can correct myself. I want to learn more facts. But you know, ah, you gotta put yourself in her position. Well, you have to evacuate. I gotta make sure my girl and my baby makes it. <clears throat> oh, she is happy. The baby. <laughs> Look at the battle. It's a boy. A boy? Tell me about him. He's beautiful. Damn. What are we gonna call him? Aww. Let's name him after your dad. Let's call him Jim. Sweetheart, can you Aww. hear me? I love you so much. I love you. Two captains just literally died in a matter of like 10 minutes. Crucial. It's gonna get crucial. Did you get 
get away with this just because your mother's off planet? You get your ass back home now. You live in my house, buddy. <coughs> your roof going off the car. I will be a stepdad because that's the little boy that was on the ship that that was the baby so stepdad your antique car is gone it is gone <laughs> he gonna be mad mad oh Vulcan we have Vulcan okay oh my gosh that would hurt my head Spock I presume you've prepared new insults for today affirmative what a way to bully somebody. What a way to bully somebody. I see you here, you know, to bully me, to insult me. Confirm. Like, what the f <laughs> uh, Okay, Spock, isn't that the one on the ship who they was asking for? So it has to be like maybe his daddy? Hmm. Because it was like, I'm looking for Spock. Do you know who Spock is? He was like, no. Okay. This is your 35th attempt to elicit an emotional response from me. You're neither human nor Vulcan and therefore have no place in this universe. Look, it's human eyes. It's <gasps> sad. Don't... Ah! You mother suckers. Whooping ass. They called you a traitor. Emotions run deep within our race. In many ways more deeply than in humans. Logic offers a serenity humans seldom experience. And yet you married a human. It's my duty to observe and understand human behavior. Marrying your mother was logical. Which path will you choose? Ay, ay, ay. So I'm getting, they're not supposed to have feelings. And he's half human. Spock. And find his variable definitions, find this unacceptable. Oh, he grew up. May I ask a personal query? Should I choose to complete the Vulcan discipline of Kulinar and purge all emotion? I trust you will not feel it reflects judgment upon you. As always, whatever you choose to be, you will have a proud mother. With one exception, I see that you have applied to Starfleet as well. You are hereby accepted to the Vulcan Science Academy. It is truly remarkable, Spock, that you have achieved so much, despite your disadvantage. Ministers, I must decline. No Vulcan has ever declined admission to this <coughs> academy, Spock. You have made a commitment to honor the Vulcan way. Was it to satisfy your emotional need to rebel? Be long and prosper. <laughs> I'm not, I, he said I might disappoint my dad, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna make myself happy. <sighs> I'm gonna do what I like. It's a lot of drinks for one woman. What is that in my back? And a shot of Jack straight up. I'll make that two her shots on me. Her shots on her. Thanks, but no thanks. If you don't tell me your name, I'm gonna have to make one up. It's a horror. A horror? No way. That's the name I was gonna make up for you. Means you've got a talent of tongue. I'm impressed. For a moment there, I thought you were just a dumb hick who only has sex with farm animals. Cupcake, it was a joke. Hey, farm boy. Cupcake. Maybe you can't count. But there are four of us and one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Dissertation I was assigned to USS Kelvin. Something I admired about your dad. Well, that instinct to leap without looking, that was his nature too. And like being the only genius level repeat offender in the Midwest. Hey, well, if you're half the man your father was, Jim, Starfleet could use you. You can be an officer in four years. You can Ooh, the process, the level. He telling you, don't be stupid. You smart as hell. 
So take that smartness to advantage. Why would you want to be a criminal? How smart you are, put it to, you know, see your potential in yourself. See more potential in yourself. Have your own ship in eight. Uh, your father was captain of a starship for 20 mm. minutes. I dare you to do better. See that third eye. Eddie's gentlemen. <laughs> Never did get that first name. But I am a dog. You need to get back. <laughs> I had one dog. in the bathroom with no windows. I suffer from aviophobia. It means fear of dying. Sir, for your own safety, sit down, or else I'll make you sit down. I may throw up on you. <laughs> I think these things are pretty safe. A tiny crack in the hull, and our blood boils into my bones. Why would you tell me that before we take off? Jim Kirk, Coy, Leonard. Here we go. Again? We've arrived at the coordinates you calculated. There's nothing here. What are your orders? We wait. Capture that ship. I'm back, Spock. I gotta study. Study. Jim, I think I love you. Now hold up, what are you, 13? <laughs> what are you, 13? I think I love you, Jim. You only knew him for what, a week? A one day? 10 seconds? Get real. That is so weird. Yeah, Lights. Right. You don't I... love me too? Yeah. You don't love my roommate. Light. I was tracking solar systems and I picked up an emergency transmission. Really? Yeah. Ooh, hold up. He under the bed. Back to the lab tonight? Kayla, who is he? Who's who? Yo, who chick? I think the fact that you picked up a transmission is very interesting. I'm not taking the simulation seriously. Three more Klingon warbirds decloaking and targeting our ship. I don't suppose this is a problem either. They're firing, Captain. And how do you expect us to rescue them when we're surrounded by Klingons, Captain? Alert medical. Okay, so he need to take this serious. Arm photons, prepare to fire on the Klingon warbirds. Yes, sir. All ships destroyed, Captain. Be Who is underway? How the hell did that kid beat your test? This session has been called to resolve a troubling matter. Yes, I believe I have the right to face my accuser directly. Ooh. Step forward, Competition please. Competition now. Your point being? In academic vernacular, you cheated. Your argument precludes the possibility of a no-win scenario. I don't believe in no-win scenario. You of all people should know, Cadet Kirk. A captain cannot cheat death. I think you like the fact that I beat your test. Furthermore, you have failed to divine the purpose of the test. Enlighten me again. The purpose is to experience fear. Fear in the face of certain death. We've received a distress call from Vulcan. <laughs> Commander? Sir, you didn't call my name. Sir, if you're on academic suspension, that means you're grounded until the Academy Board rules. Damn, like a child. <laughs> Come with me. Commander, a word? Yes, Lieutenant. Was I not one of your top students? Indeed, you were. Subspace transmission tests. Consistently, yes. It was an attempt to avoid the appearance of favoritism. No. Yes, I believe you are. Thank you. A girl got her way? What? And she came in feisty and attitude? Mmm. What for? I'll give you the symptoms. What are you talking about? You're gonna start to lose vision in your left eye. Takes the treatment and transport of a patient to be determined at the discretion of his attending physician. So I'm taking Mr. Kirk aboard. Ooh, demands. <laughs> Uh, I might throw up on you. 20 year bastard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the maiden voyage of our newest flagship deserves more pomp and circumstance than we can afford today. Our christening will just have to be our reward for a safe return. I'm Hikaru Sulu. And you are a pilot, right? Uh, very much so, sir. The parking brake on? A new pilot? I know. <laughs> Where are we? Medical bay. Unbelievable. Oh. Engines at maximum warp, Cap. Ensign Chekhov, Pavel Andreevich, sir. Fine. Chekhov, Pavel Andreevich. Begin shipwide <laughs> mission broadcast. Yes, sir. Happy to. May I have your attention, please? What appeared to be a lightning storm in space. Vulcan and assist in evacuations 
if necessary. Oh, what the hell is this? A reaction to the vaccine, damn it. It, it, like, who is responsible for the Klingon what? attack? And what's the clip wrong with Was it just what? What's, what's happening in my mouth? You got numb tongue? Uh... Front Nero, seven Federation ships are on their way. And they are waiting. McCoy, take him back to medical. We'll have words later. I can't look. That same anomaly, a lightning storm in space that we saw today, also occurred on the day of my birth before a Romulan ship attacked the USS Kelvin. Reported that the Romulans were in one ship, one massive ship. And you know this Klingon attack, how? Kirk's report is accurate. We're warping into a trap, sir. The Romulans waiting for us. I Arrived at Vulcan, but we, we seem to have lost all contact. Messing with killer. Oh, emergency, Mason. Oh, Bring main impulse. Oh, 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 oh. Coming straight at him. Ooh. Ship. Destroy it, too. Fire torpedoes. Captain, they're locking Why? torpedoes. The captain. The Romulan ship has lowered some kind of high-energy pulse device into the Vulcan atmosphere. Captain, we're being hailed. Hello. I do not speak for the Empire. We stand apart. Isn't that right, Spock? The thing I would like you to see. I told you that was Spock. So how the hell they know him at the beginning as an old man? Like, I know I'm not tripping. They are from the future, right? <laughs> hey, he jumped up like, uh, how you know me? Captain Pike, your transporter has been disabled. As you can see by the rest of your armada, you will man a shuttle. Come on board the Narada. Gain nothing by diplomacy. Don't Going over that it. ship is a mistake. I too agree. You should rethink your strategy. I understand that. I mean, it comes to the point to where, like, damn, the other captain did it and terminated in like 15 seconds he was there no negotiation baby we'll land on that machine they've lowered into the atmosphere that's scrambling our gear please i apologize the complexities of human pranks escape me it's not a prank spock and i'm not the captain you are this ain't YouTube. We don't do pranks over here. <laughs> and I'm not the captain no more. You are. <laughs> Just like at the beginning, the captain said, I'm not captain no more. When I go over here, I'm not captain no more. Cause I might, you might, I might die. So therefore, it's next, next person in line. <sighs> we gonna do the same routine, y'all. Responsibility as chief medical officer. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. Pushing <laughs> the drop zone. We have one shot to land on that platform. Oh, that'd be so scary. <laughs> Boom. Woo, baby. A way team is entering the atmosphere. 4,600 meters from the platform. 4,500 meters to target. 4,000 meters. The pressure. Turned to crisp. He fell right into. Consumes a planet. They uh, a black hole at the center of Vulcan. Yeah, that don't sound good at all. A Where black are you going? To evacuate the Vulcan High Council stream, my parents will be among them. Go save your mama. I must get them myself. 
Take off, you have the car. Ah! He gotta go himself. So now who's captain? Ah! I'm beaming the surface. That is so cool. Ah, the damage. Hurry. Mother, now. She didn't make it. She didn't. Therefore, classified him a hostage of the war criminal known as Nero. Hmm. I estimate no more than 10,000 have survived. Why should I find it? I'm sorry. Oh, that's his boo boo. That's her baby. I need everyone to continue performing admirably. Um, yeah, because he's not supposed to show emotions, right? But it's hard. It would be so, so hard not to show emotions. And your mom, and you got that good connection with your mom, and she dies right in front of you. Oh, yeah, I'm showing emotion. I'm showing ass. I'm crying all up and down that space shit. Like, <laughs> I, I would have lost my mind. But he is captain right now. He has to have self-control. Me, I just couldn't, baby. Specifically those surrounding Earth. Christopher. Answer my question. No, you answer for the genocide you just committed against a peaceful no, planet. I prevent genocide. I deliver a normal life. I did not forget the pain. It's a pain that every surviving Vulcan now shares. <gasps> we saved. <laughs> that is why I will destroy all the remaining Federation planets, starting with yours. Mm. The torture. I'm gonna make you sit and watch your people, your planet die. Ugh. They latch onto your brainstem and release a toxin that will force you to answer. Well, if the Federation is a target, why didn't they destroy us? Why would they? Why waste a weapon? He said he wanted me to see something, the destruction of my home planet. How the hell did they do that, by the Damn it, man, I'm a doctor, not a physicist. Are you actually suggesting they're from the future? Then something. what about assigning engineering crews to try and boost our warp yield? We're meaning gather with the rest of Starfleet to balance the terms of the next thing. By the time we've gathered, it'll be too late. An alternate reality. Precisely. He, he also ship. ordered us to go back and get him. Except the fact that I, I will alone not allow us to go backwards. Jim, I come come on. On. Get him off this ship. Computer, where am I? Location Delta Vega, Class M planet, unsafe. Twenty-two fifty-eight point four two, or uh, or whatever.
secret. Excuse me? How do you know my name? Uh, look, uh, I, I don't know you. I am Spock. 129 years from now, a star will explode and threaten to destroy the galaxy. I promised the Romulans that I would save their planet, would create a black hole which would absorb the exploding star. I had little time. As I began my return trip, I was intercepted. He called himself Nero. Both of us were pulled into the black hole. He captured my vessel and spared my life so that I would know his pain. Did I know my father? Yes. You often spoke of him as being your inspiration for joining Starfleet. Permission to speak freely, sir. I welcome it. Do you? Okay, then. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> your fucking mind? However, if crew morale is better served by my roaming the halls weeping, I will gladly defer to your medical expertise. Realize how unacceptable this is. Me. Get it. Shut up. You don't eat anything. You can eat like a bean and you're done. Thank you. Where is it? You are, in fact, the Mr. Scott who postulated the theory of transwar beaming. That's what I'm talking about. It was limited to about 100 miles. I told him that I could not only beam a grapefruit from one planet to the adjacent planet in the same system, which is easy, by the way, I could do it with a life form. So, I tested it on Admiral Archer's prize beagle. Are you from the future? Yeah, he is. I'm not. I gotta get back home. Well, that's brilliant. Do they still have sandwiches there? <sighs> Beaming aboard the Enterprise while she's traveling faster than light without a proper receiving pad. Get off there! Imagine that. It never occurred to me to think of space as the thing that was moving. You're telling me I, I, I can't tell you that I'm following your own orders? Why not? What happens? Jim, this is one rule you cannot break. To stop Nero, you alone must take command of your ship. How? Over your dead body? <sighs> Preferably not. You <laughs> keep pushing them. That is so cute. Coming back in time, changing history, it's cheating. Mm -hmm. Live long and prosper. Oh, <laughs> oh we got stuck in the wall. Uh. uh. Bring up the video. Oh, they got you. Run! Come with me, cupcake! <laughs> You're traveling at warp speed. How did you manage to beam aboard this ship? Leo Court Marshal, I order you to explain to me how you were able to beam aboard this ship while moving at warp. You will answer me. I'm not take sides. What is it with you, Spock? <laughs> For command, I mean, did, did you see his ship? Do you see what he did? Or the need to stop at nothing to avenge the death of the woman who gave birth to you? It must not even compute for you. You never loved him. <laughs> He's half human. Woman ass. He told my mama. He tested him, just like when he was little. Doctor, I am no longer fit for duty. I hereby relinquish my command based on the fact that I have been emotionally compromised. Emotionally compromised. <laughs> Congratulations, Jim. Now we've got no captain and no goddamn first officer to replace him. I made him first officer. You gotta be kidding me. Thanks for the support. Him? New captain? I know you were all expecting to regroup with the fleet, but I'm ordering a pursuit course of the enemy ship to Earth. I want all departments of battle stations ready in ten minutes. You will always be a child of two worlds. I am grateful for this, and for you. I believe... As she would say, do not try to. You asked me once why I married your mother. I married her because I loved her. Chip on the tech. Can't just go in there, guns. The heart wants what the heart wants, baby. Human or not? I 
can't stand humans. I wish I knew an alien. I would love the hell out that alien. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I thought I was somebody was at my door. But yeah, you know, people judged him, called him a traitor, and it's just like the heart wants what the heart wants, baby. Check out. What, what is it? Based on the red discourse from Wolkin, I have projected that Nero will travel past Saturn. The magnetic distortion from the planet's rings will make us invisible to Nero's sensors. From the Wait a minute, kid. How old are you? Seventeen, sir. Oh, oh, goody, seventeen. Doctor. <laughs> if Mr. Sulu is able to maneuver us into position, I can beam aboard Nero's ship, steal back the black hole device, and if possible, bring back Captain Pike. We are getting to know each other. All stop. In three, two, one. If you think you have the tactical advantage, you fire on that ship, even if we're still on board. Mm. He like, what the hell? That's what I was like, what the hell? <laughs> hey, they better put some respect on Spock's name. <laughs> Shouldn't be a soul in sight. Energize. Damn, they pew. Officers aboard the ship. One of them is Vulcan. It's who you want, too. It's who you want. Do you know where it is? The black hole device? And Captain Pike. Oh. Face recognition analysis enabled. Welcome back, Ambassador Spock. Oh, that's weird. He already knows, but he don't. <laughs> Keeping important information from me. You're gonna be able to fly this thing, right? Something tells me I already have. In the event that I do not return, please tell Lieutenant O'Hara. Spock! It'll work. Nero, order your men to disable the drill or I will. Again. Let's check. Check it out, sir. If you ignite the red matter, I want to point. spot that now. Oh, oh Jesus! You can't even speak. <laughs> I got your gun. Ah! And you can't live. Oh, look at that fall! Incoming missiles. If the ship is hit, the red matter will be ignited. Took forever to get you. That is straight at them. Impact! Ah! They made it back. Oh, they made it back. That was so intense. ship is compromised. Too close to the singularity to survive without assistance which we are willing to provide. I would rather suffer the end of Romulus a thousand times. I would rather <laughs> die in agony. You got it. Ugh, okay. He said, I'm trying to help you out, but he said, ugh, okay. Okay. <gasps> Look at it going into this. Yeah, because we can't get sucked in either. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's good crazy. enough. What else oh, you got? Okay. And if we eject the core and detonate, the blast could be enough to push us away. Get it together. Get it together. Few Vulcans left. 
we cannot afford to ignore each other. Of a friendship that will define you both in ways you cannot yet Ooh. realize. He inferred that universe-ending paradoxes would ensue should he break his promise. Do what feels right. Yes. Good luck. Say, say. This assembly calls Captain James Tiberius Kirk. It is my honor to award you with this commendation. By Starfleet Order 28455, you are hereby directed to report to Admiral Pike, USS Enterprise, for duty. Woo! Congratulations, Captain. You heard it right. Dock control reports ready, Captain. Mr. Shoot, prepare to engage thrusters. Permission to come aboard, Captain. Permission granted. Take us out. Aye, aye, Captain. Your ongoing mission to explore strange new worlds, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Woo! So we just gonna go on adventures. Explore planets, but hey, you know what comes with that. You know, this was destruction. This was definitely entertainment. This had a lot of stuff going on. Um, now I have never watched Star Trek, you guys. I know they have a lot of seasons, and I have never sat down and watched any of the Star Trek. But if you guys want me to stay consistent with Star Trek, do more movies, let your girl know down in the comments. I definitely will. They was at the future, then the present. It was a lot going on, but hey. We can stay on a kick of it, but of course you guys let me know down in the comments if you guys want to keep exploring Star Trek the movies, and I definitely will. It had a lot of action going on. This was definitely entertaining. Not only that, but it have a little it had a little bit of sense of humor too. It had a lot of characters in it. It had, I don't want to call them monsters, but you know, it had creatures too. I love creatures. I love seeing different things in movies, you know. Um, the the graphics. The graphics was <laughs> the graphics was crazy. It was on point, you guys. Every little detail was on point. The storyline, I definitely, it was entertaining to me. But of course, you guys let your favorite homegirl know down in the comments. I definitely keep exploring. Let's go.